Hello again. My name's Adrian. Call signs 2E0GNW. Uh, this is the second video I'm doing on behalf of the coffee shop. I'm going to call it how to upload a video, uh, a picture <coughs> to your QRZ. I want some pictures on your QRZ, how you can utilize it and where you can place it. So step one is get all your pictures together in one place that you'd like to put on to QRZ. Now as my account is already established I've created a uh, little logo for the coffee shop. So I'm just going to keep that on my desktop so if you keep all your other pictures that you want to upload or you know where they are keep them safe in one particular place. Step 2 log into your QRZ. Right once in the QRZ the way it works is you've got to upload your photographs to QRZ. So if you just bring the mouse over to where your call sign is and then go down to edit and get your, this page here up then the third one down add or edit your pictures click on that one. Right once in QRZ you'll see in here there's all my pictures I've uploaded. If you scroll down to here this is where you upload your picture. So if you click on the browse and then point to the direction or point to the location where your picture is. So mine was on my desktop. If I just bring the slider down hopefully somewhere near it. there we go. Highlight the picture and then click open. Now as soon as you click open, a little bar will appear here, a little blue button. If you click on this blue button, then there you go, look, it's just uploaded the picture to your QRZ. This picture will stay in your QRZ at all times. Okay, now that's all to upload a picture to your QRZ, but you'll also see on the bottom here, it says a primary picture. Now the primary, my primary picture at the minute is my QSL card. So if I just show you, click save at the bottom and go down to the bottom here and click done. You'll see my primary picture is here. This is my QSL card. So if you've got a picture of yourself or a picture of your shark or anything you want as your primary picture, if you click on your call sign and go to edit again, again go to edit pictures and if you find the picture you want, I'll change mine. I'll change mine to this meat here. If you double click on your left button, left mouse button, it'll ask you there, do you want to delete the picture, save it, or make it your primary picture? If I click on primary picture, and then scroll down here again to save, and then click at the bottom to done, you'll see that there's now a meter as my primary picture. Okay, so I'll just go through that again. Click on edit. Go to the uh, edit pictures. Again, I'll put my QSL card, so double click on the QSL card. The blue button there, make set picture as primary. Scroll down to the bottom to save. click done and you'll see my primary picture has now gone back to the top of my QSL card. Right, next step, adding your pictures into the main body of your biography. You click on your call sign again and go down to edit and then open the add and change my biography. Now mine's packed full of stuff because I've put a lot of stuff on there. so. Just to show you, I will scroll down to the bottom of my page. Let me go down to here and just press enter a few times to get to the bottom. You'll see the, the actual mouse, the cursor is actually situated in the middle of mine. Um, what we can do then, if you scroll up to the top and you want to click this icon here. And then it will bring this box up. If you click on the browse, it should bring you to all the photographs you've uploaded on QRZ. So let's 
so I uploaded the coffee shop one so if we scroll down and there it is we double click on it with the left button and then it brings the picture in click on the OK at the bottom confirm and the picture appears now if you don't want the picture in the middle or if you want it on the left or the right like I've said before in a previous video you can click on these icons here that'll turn it from left to right or back to the centre also if you click on the picture and you go to the bottom corner here you'll see the cursor changes into a, a diagonal arrow if, I get it in there. if you click the left mouse button and hold it down here you can change the size of it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So we can make it smaller there, click off it, and there you go. As um, soon as your picture is placed exactly where you want it, if you click the save, and then go down to the bottom and click done. And if you bring your site back up again, scroll down to the bottom, hopefully, I should have a picture of the coffee shop there on my page. <clears throat> now I know a few of you are uh, members of the coffee shop or you may be particularly members of other amateur groups. Um, a little thing you can do, that I like doing, um, how can I best explain this? If you're a member of another group, say the coffee shop for instance, the coffee shop has got a website and a web page. If you was to go to the web page so just let me for argument's sake close this off for a moment open up my oh, let's have a look. yeah open up my internet explorer and i've already got this uh, link done so we'll go there right this is a coffee shop's main page if you actually had take the, your mouse pointer and put it on the address and left click once to highlight it in blue right click highlight your copy and copy the link close the page then reopen your QRZ backup go into edit on your QRZ and then back into your biography and if we scroll down to the picture at the bottom for the coffee shop, which should be down here, there we go, and we double click again with the left button, it'll bring this box up here. Now there's a little tab that says link. If you click the link button, then there's a box here that says URL. If you right click, sorry, left click in the box, then right click, and go down to paste, It'll paste the address of the coffee shop. Click save and then click save again at the bottom of the page. Again scroll down to the bottom and click done and when it brings your main page up if you scroll down to the bottom and here's our advert for the coffee shop notice when I put the mouse on it the hand changes from a pointer to a press. So hopefully when I click on that it should take us to the coffee shop. So if you'd like to advertise the coffee shop or advertise any other group you're a member of, then that's very easily done. Again, I'm a member of the uh, Grimsby Amateur Radio Society. Uh, and this is our badge here. I've put a link on my badge, so if we click that, that'll go to the Grimsby Amateur Radio Society that I belong to. Right, I hope this video has been helpful. Any questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask. Or if you're struggling with anything else, please give me a shout. So from 2E0GNW, I'll bid you 73s.